Alright guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn something about while loop in Java and also we're going to learn this cool algorithm called Euclidean algorithm. So it is basically um, an algorithm that was designed long time ago by Euclid I believe and it was used to find a greatest common divisor in math. Um, some of you might know it, some of you might have forgotten it, but uh, I'm pretty sure all of you know it. And it's very cool, so um, you're gonna have a lot of fun. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we like we always do, let's create our file. And um, same old stuff, right? Public class. Let me name it something like loop. Loop practice or something like that and public static void main strings args with that. I hope you guys are getting used to writing this class structure here. Um, but it takes a lot of practice. So yeah, let, before we get into while loop, we have to create this one thing called a condition. Because if a loop doesn't have a condition, it's gonna go forever and it's called a endless loops and we don't want that to happen because it will slow my computer down so let's create our uh, condition for a while loop here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called count so let's make it an integer so integer count gets zero so what this is going to do is it's going to act like a switch so um, when I create a while loop, so what you gotta do is w, uh, you have to put w h i l e while, and then uh, space or not space, but uh, after that you have to put parentheses, and inside of that parentheses you have to give it a condition. And you remember we created a variable called count, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my condition to count less than 10 and then curly braces so what I did here is I set a condition that while condition is less than 10 it's going to do whatever is inside of this block here so I can give it to do anything but in this tutorial I'm going to try to print out some stuff and uh, we know how to do that right by writing system that out that print ln with double quote and say something like say something random just for practice purpose right okay so now seems like we're done but we're not done yet because what happened watch this okay so at first the count is zero and I go into while loop right oh is count less than 10 you ask the computer and the computer will say yeah true so because this one receives true it's gonna go into this loop here and it will do whatever is inside and it will print out that thing right there right okay after that what happened do I just kick out of here no you go back to beginning and check again is count less than 10 yeah it's still zero so it's gonna do what endless loops so what I gotta do here is I have to increase this count every time I print stuff out to screen. So how do I do that? We can do this thing called incrementing in Java. So you can put count whatever the variable you have here and what you gotta do is you gotta put two plus signs and semicolon. So what this thing does is that uh, it will take the count here and then it will increment it, increment it by uh, 1. So after this thing prints out, the count will gain 1 and so on until the count is more than 10. Oh, also you can write this thing as this. So instead of writing plus plus, some of you can write it as something like count equals count plus 1. These two are basically s same stuff, but uh, why not we save some code 
by putting plus signs, right? It's easier too. So yeah, anyway, by putting this here, what will happen is it will print this thing out and then it will increment the count by one. So eventually I'm going to be, I'm going to make this count not less than 10. So if it's not less than 10, it's gonna drop out of that while loop. So, um, so after it drops out, let's make it print out something. So something like, I am done. Alrighty, so now that we uh, coded everything, let's try this out. So we can run it or compile it. I'm just gonna hit run because it does both. Alright guys, um, I hope you guys can see this here, but uh, what it did here is it printed out oh no 10 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and after it dropped out of the loop, it executed that command right there, I am done. So yeah, that's basic structure of how to use while loop. So now that we got the basic part done, how about we get into like some cool cool stuff and uh, it's called Euclidean algorithm or Euclid, Euclid GCD um, so what it does is it's going to find a greatest common divisor of two numbers that were given so um, for this algorithm here I have to create a two variables so I'm going to create one integer named num1 representing number 1 equal to something like 21 let's say and another variable integer but I'm going to name it num2 and let's say this is 35 so some of you already know how to find the greatest common divisor of those two numbers right but how do I make computer to do it here comes the while loop. So um, this is pretty like well-known algorithm on the internet so you might be able to find this very easily on the internet too. But this is how it goes. So first we type while and give it a condition and it's gotta be num2 is greater than 0. So what it's going to do here is it's going to execute whatever is between these two blocks when num2 is greater than 0. So if num2 gets to 0 or less, it's going to quit out of this. So between these two, that's where all the magic happens. So let's see what happens here. So um, we can create a variable inside of while loop here. So let's create a variable called remainder. Let me shorten it to rem, representing remainder. And we are going to put num a uh, num1 modular num2. I hope you guys remember what modular is from the previous video. It's a remainder, right? So num1 remainder of dividing num2 stored into here. And on the next line it's going to have num1 equals num2. So what this right here means I'm trying to set num2, whatever num2 is, into a num1. So the one equal sign means assigning value to whatever is on the left side. So I'm assigning num2 to num1. Okay, the third one, or the last step of this, has to be num2 gets remainder. So num, since num2 got you know, transferred into num1, I have to put that remainder into that num2. And after that, while loop will eventually drop out because num2 will get to zero or, uh, you know, zero or less than zero eventually. So after it drops out of the while loop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what was the, um, how, what was the GCD was. So let's say system.out.println, the GCD is, and plus sign, 
means conjunction, right? And I'm going to put num1. Why num1? Because I've been saving num2 to num1. So whatever the num1 gets here, um, this num1 in the end becomes the GCD. So this algorithm is also known as 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1. So it's like a phone number, right? 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1. I don't know. Some people remember it like that. Or you can just, you know, understand it and uh, memorize. I would recommend that way. But yeah, it's very useful. So anyway, let's run it and see what we get. And, um... Ooh, there it is. It says the GCD is 7. So what does that mean, Sean? So 7 is the largest number that can be divided into both of these numbers. So 7 goes into 21, right? And 7 also goes into 35. So that's just saying that 7 is the largest number. So you could have changed these two numbers around and then play with it. But yeah, that's the basic idea of how to do Euclidean algorithm. It's very useful, guys. Hope you guys remembered uh, and use it wisely. All right, that's it for this tutorial here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, please hit like and uh, you know subscribe for more tutorials. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.